So today we're talking to Stephen Bond from Autech, which is a uh, fantastic company. I'm going to let you, Stephen, uh, explain exactly what it's all about. Uh, Stephen is on the south coast of the UK uh, in a little place called Solent. I've never heard of it, but I'm sure you can explain us more about where you are as well. So Stephen, um, can you tell us a little bit more about the What It's Like program that you have? Yes, so thank you, Michelle. Yeah, so the What Sort It Like program was developed um, by us in Autec to um, support people who live with anxiety accessing places and services that they want to but can't through the anxiety that they they, they feel. Um, so it's kind of a little bit like try before you buy in terms of visiting a place or, or going to a service. Uh, that's the, the idea behind it. And we use immersive technology and video technology to support that. And Alltech itself, we're a, a, an employer of disabled people, uh, and we employ um, video producers, animators, digital artists, um, all of whom are disabled but have a real talent in a particular area, and we provide a, a different pathway into employment um, for, for, for these people. Fantastic. That sounds really good. And is it who who exactly are you trying to help? Is it like a whole range of people, or is it a certain um, ability that you're trying to help? So primarily we're we're helping anybody who lives with anxiety. So if anxiety stops you doing something, they're the people that we help. But our, our mission is to use our lived experience as disabled people, neurodivergent people, use that lived experience to help other people from our community, so other disabled people accessing services. So we, we try and tailor it to that. But what we found is that if you create something that works, let's say, for an autistic person or for a neurodivergent person, it works for everybody. It works for any form of anxiety as well. So we make it nice and simple, clear, easy to understand. Uh, and it's then available for anybody who who wants, who has anxiety and, and, and could benefit from our, our service. So the service you provide is creating a virtual tour of any um, establishment, a business or a museum or anywhere that you go that they could go to potentially. And they can see this, the, the venues from the inside before they go. Is that correct? That's right. Yeah. So the, we, we think about it in different layers. So the base layer um, is understanding the place. And so we use a virtual tour of the empty place to let people understand that. So say somebody has got a, a, an appointment to go and see their doctor. They've got this letter arrived, go to your doctor's surgery. The first thing that's going to worry them or make people anxious is, well, what's the place like? Particularly post-COVID, you know, what are the restrictions there like? What are the rooms like? Um, what's the waiting room like? You know, where I'm going to sit with other people, all, all of those sorts of things. So we use a virtual tour that gives them that idea of place. And then what we do is we layer on top of that some of our video products, which show people perhaps what it's like to journey through the place, you know, as a, as a real life video or uh, answering some of the questions they have. So when I arrive at reception, what documents do I need to bring with me? Will the person ever be wearing a mask? Should I be wearing a mask? All of those questions that people have, we can answer those with a layer of video. And then we can even, if, if necessary, add a further layer of 360 video on top of it where we look at what's the environment like, how crowded is it, how noisy is it, all those sort of questions we can we can answer as well if, if necessary. So it's just building layers, but the, the bedrock of it is, is the virtual tour, yeah. Wow, that's amazing. And, and what kind of, because you mentioned a doctor's office, but what kind of venues have you covered so far? Oh, all sorts of stuff, Scarlett. Um, yeah, so we've been to shopping centres, big shopping malls, um, GP practices, mental health services. Um, we've done hospitals, a lot of a lot of schools, um, colleges, those sort of areas. Anywhere where people transit from one to another. So schools and colleges, things about transiting from primary school to senior school, for example, uh, is a source for autistic people of incredible anxiety in terms of understanding. You know what the what the environment's like. So we we've done schools, we've done walks as well, getting people out to exercise and showing what places are like that you might want to go and visit, but are kind of anxious about what it's going to be like when you get there or how crowded it is or or whatever. We can show those. We can capture a virtual tour of a walk, you know, around a park or a particular um, location. All sorts of stuff. And how do you think of the locations then? Do you um, do they come? To, do the people come to you to ask you to do this, or do you think? Uh, well, um, do you know where to go beforehand, or do you get told by your clients, "I would like you to make a virtual tour of this particular place"? So it's a, it's a mixture. Um, a lot more now. We're getting clients coming to us now that we're getting getting known, saying, "Can you do a what's it like service for our our location?" And of course, we say yes, and then and then work out firstly what the cost is, what are the implications, how do we we film it. 
what how they want their service to be portrayed because that's that's really important and also who who the service is designed for because we do slightly different things for let's say autistic people or people with a learning disability we have different um video formats that we use um for, for different customer bases so we, we kind of work through the web. A lot of people are now coming to us, but occasionally we get we get crazy ideas. Wouldn't it be good? So recently, specialist dentistry. So people who have a, a phobia of needles and dentists. We've got this 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 uh, service in the NHS or special specialist dentistry, and we've kind of wanted to crack that one because we know that autistic people have real difficulties with that. So we've wanted to go and film uh, in in those areas as well. So sometimes it comes from ourselves. With, with lived experience, we kind of know the sort of things that, that make us as a group anxious. Um, and so we can start picking on some of those as well. Fantastic. That's a really good, amazing service. And and uh, I know that you have been um, a user of My360 for a very long time already, even many years, I think. Um, what is it that My360 adds adds to your uh, service? How, how How do we help? So it's it's really easy to use and it's a very, very high quality tools that get produced from it. And those are those are the important things. So if somebody you know who's anxious wants to look at um, a building or a place, the first thing it's got to not add to the anxiety. So it's got to look really natural and simple and easy to navigate and use. And we found that My360 um, is excellent for that. But the other side of the coin is that all of our tours and all of our videos are created by disabled people. And we use, uh, we, we partner with another organization, Enablability, who run work experience for young disabled people. And so they're the people who create a lot of the tours um, that, that, that we build as well. So it's got to be really easy to teach somebody how to use that tour so that once they've done it once, they can do it over and over and over again. And that's that's the other feature that we love about, about My360 is that it is something that's that's very easy to teach and very easy for people to really get a get a handle on it and, and to create quickly um, amazing tools. Fantastic. Well, that's really good to hear. And and uh, back to the um, uh, the tours that you've already made. Um, what kind of successes have you had in uh, in in this area? Do you have a particular success story of a of a virtual tour that you've made that really made a big difference? So we're doing quite a lot of work with. Um, cancer screening at the moment uh, and particularly for people with learning disabilities so we're working with one of our cancer alliances in the UK in, in Sussex and Surrey around that and they've got some amazing stories so they're, they're really keen on the impact of what we're doing and how it changes people's lives and so we, we're constantly hearing feedback from them of people who watch the tour watch the videos and then go and get the cancer screening and so it's, it's really some really nice heartwarming stories like that but yeah. we're getting, um, I think it's something like, it's over a thousand views per week at the moment on our website, which is um, which is what's it like .co.uk. Um, and that is all of our tours, all our publicly available tours that people can go and look at. So we're, we're getting quite a, a lot of traction on that, which again is, 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 is encouraging. Fantastic. That's really good. And it's good to hear, like you say, that, that you encourage people to go to a place that they might have not gone to otherwise and therefore... Now they've had received the treatment that they that they really need, which is fantastic. And and so, what are other areas are you trying to move into uh, now, Stephen? Um, next ventures that we want to get into are um, the arts in its wider form and live music. Um, some of the some of the areas are, are more challenging, should we say, from a video point of view to try and work it out. So, if you want to somebody going to Glastonbury, for example. You kind of can't show people what it's like in Glastonbury because it's not like that until it starts, sort of thing. So it's kind of understanding what it's like to be in a crowd and to be in a live music venue. And we're thinking that some of this stuff around um, the arts as well, that we can augment it with some animation so we can understand the feelings that people get in, in, a, in a, an art gallery. So it's peaceful, it's tranquil. You kind of can't really show that with a video of somebody saying it's pe peaceful and tranquil, but we can use animation techniques to to overlay what we're doing. So we want to, you know, raise the technical bar a little bit in, in, in both of those areas. So that's that's our net our next um our next challenge, I think. Fantastic. And uh and and lastly, of course, how uh how does somebody who watches this video today get in touch with you? Not just a client who wants a virtual tour, but also somebody who might think, hey, this is something that I want to use uh, because I have anxiety or I want to um 
I want to participate even. How does how how does it work with you? So we're we're on um, the, the main website for our company is um, autech.co.uk. Autech is A-U-T-E-K dot yeah. co.uk with the usual bits in front of it. And yeah. for people who want to see what the service is like and to start getting some inspiration and in terms of getting out and doing stuff, uh, it's what's it like dot um, co.uk. So that's W-H-A-T-S-I-T-L-I-K-E. That is our our brand dot uh, co.uk. And we've got, I don't know, 50, 60 different um, areas. It's categorized by health, leisure and education. Uh, we're probably going to increase the number of categories soon because it is starting to starting to fill up, which is which is great. So yeah, go 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 to those websites. You can contact us. Um, certainly from the Autech one, we're on social media, Autech CIC in the the, the usual places um, as well. And so people can go to your website, what is like uk, and they can already immediately watch virtual tours on your site, or do they have to subscribe to anything or or become no. a member? No, no, it's freely available for anybody. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, that's excellent, uh, Stephen. It's lovely to meet you. Um, I've met you uh, a couple of times because we've been uh, uh, working with you for quite a while now. But it's always really good to hear that you guys are making such a big difference in this uh, in this area. And um, I'm looking forward to all the greatness that comes uh, comes from you in the near future, because I know that you guys are working very hard and do, making a, an absolute difference. So thank you very much. Fantastic. Many thanks, Garlic. It's a pleasure as always. You're welcome.